Hey, what's up you guys? John from Old Running Farm here. Thanks for joining us in today's video. I'm gonna go over with you the ultimate DIY cheap-ass tractor carry-all. So, <laughs> let's get into it. All right, so number one, if you know our channel at all, you know that I am cheap. I go for recycling, upcycling as much as I can, and that's what I tried to do with this carry-all right here. You can see it's a little bit snowy today. We had a snowstorm the other day, so still have some lingering snow from that, but, so I have set this up, and I don't think I'm done. I think I'll keep modifying this as I go, but it's already come in really handy. I'll start off by saying that I built this out of a lot of recycled materials, um, so I don't have a cut list, I don't have plans for it, but I will go over sort of exactly what I did. Now there's a lot of videos out there on how to build these things out of lumber that you buy from the store. Mine is sort of a combination of recycled and store-bought materials, so I'm just gonna kinda go through, give you a little tour, and show you what's going on. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first. So this is four feet wide and it's about 40 inches long. And what I have here for the floor is actually a super heavy duty pallet that we got, I don't know, from Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, one of those things. So the key here is it's not like a standard pallet that has like a half inch thick platform. This has a one inch thick platform and you'll see a lot of people use like one by sixes for the floor. So I'm only a half inch shorter than that and I don't imagine carrying or hauling a ton of stuff anyway. So the other thing is, so I use a super heavy duty pallet on the bottom and you can see this one has five uh, support boards. So there's one directly center and then two on either side. So it's a very heavy duty pallet. It can hold a lot. And so what I did was I actually, so I took the slats off the bottom and used it to cover the empty slats here. Um, the carry-all has specific holes and so I just drilled them where I needed them and those are half inch by three inch carriage bolts. So step one with this was to build the floor and the back. So I had the carry-all off of the tractor. So I would basically, I tipped it, because you know, it looks like an L, so I would tip it on its back um, and then clamped the pallet to the carry-all and drilled the holes and then secured them that way. And then I basically just did the opposite for the back. So this is a combination of wood on the back here. So you can see as we look at it, I have a two by four on the bottom, and then I have a reused two by eight, then I have two two by sixes, and then two more two by eights. And that top two by eight is actually just screwed into the back. But so anyway, there's, there's lots of different configurations you can do. That's just sort of what I had, and so that's what I used. Um, as Natasha climbs all over my camera hand. Um, and then what I did on the back there was I had these two top cuts from my buddy Mike, who has a sawmill. 
and so the the vertical beams right there are nice like two inch thick top cuts um, that are 72 inches and I screwed it into the back here and then did another uh, two, uh, one by two by six at the top and then screwed that in there <laughs> Natasha what are you doing <laughs> Look at this kitty. She's so sweet. Anyway, let's get a closer look at the top. Okay, so here's a closer look at the back. So I had these big vertical pieces that come into this 2x6, and then I took a cattle panel piece that I had left over and just trimmed some of the edges off of that and hung it there. And I did that so that I could take you know, carabiners and hook stuff on here that I needed. Um, so this is my beautiful pink uh, rope bag that Joanne got me for Christmas along with uh, some rope and my heavy duty carabiners. This is my toe strap. Uh, so in case I'm taking down trees, you know, I can wrap that around here. And then I got my logging chain right here. So it's just really nice to have all of this stuff off the ground. You know, it's not gonna be sitting in snow, yada yada. So that's why I have this cattle panel back here because then I can just clip things to here, you know, if I need to tie anything off. And the cattle panel's super strong, so that'll be great. And then I also built, that you can see right here, a chainsaw scabbard. And now this is like as simple as simple gets. So all I did was I had a one by four that I just cut in half there, just to give it some space. And then I screwed the one by eight to the one by fours, or I'm sorry, Start that over. I screwed the 2x8 to the 1x4s, so just give it some space. And then now, that just slips right in there. And you know, it's got some movement, but it's not, that's not, it's not gonna fall out. And then let's see, what else do we got? Oh yeah, so the sides. So I built these sides on an angle, just because I think it looks a little better. I don't know, I think it looks a little, it's a little, uh, you know, more inviting than just a box. And so I basically just, and you can see actually right here, so I, I just cut a board to the, the, I cut a board to the length of the pallet, and then I drew one angle, I figured that would probably be too steep, and then I just cut an angle, and then I just measured the next piece, like I would just put the piece, you know, butt to butt, measure here, get the same angle, cut it, and then I just took a two by four, that you can see right there and connected everything. Uh, finally, I drilled some screws into each one of these to make sure that they were secure. And then I screwed it to the whole base. You know, I don't need this to be super structural for the sides, just kind of holding everything in. Same with this little lip that I just put on a minute ago, just so I don't have to really worry about things, you know, flying out while I'm going. But anyway, so one of the big reasons why I wanted this thing, and I got this for Christmas from my parents, thank you, was because I would go out in the woods and you know, we, we'd cut down trees, and this winter I have plans on cutting down a lot more, clearing some more land for us. And you know, I would cut a tree, I would put the chainsaw down, and then my gas cans would be somewhere, my chain would be somewhere else, and then I would end up, you know, losing stuff. I already lost a pair of bolt cutters this year, which stinks. But you know, this way, I have a clear centralized location for everything and it's easy to carry stuff down. Even when we were building the chicken village, you know, if I wanted to bring materials down there along with tools and stuff, you know, I could put stuff on the pallet forks, but then if I'm using that to, you know, hold my tools, I can't use that to do anything else. This way I have a versatile way of carrying everything as well as being able to use the forks. And if I go down there and buck up a whole bunch of wood, I can also stack it in here. You know, my my three-point hitch has, I think, 1,100 or more pounds of lift capacity, maybe even more than that. And that bottom is plenty strong. And the, the carry-all, I think, can hold 1,000 pounds. So I can still, I can stick a whole bunch of wood in there. You know, if I'm bringing it somewhere else, I can stick it in there. I can stick a whole bunch of wood on the front. It's gonna come in real handy. All right, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please give us a like, leave us a comment. Let me know what I can do better next time because this, you know, this is one of those things that's never done. I can always modify it. If you got any cool ideas for how I can store stuff, let me know. And as always, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.